Pokémon 151, the most iconic and popular set from recent years, contains some amazing cards like the Cherizard, Zapdos and Blastoise SIR. And while we are spending our money on some expensive 151 packs to chase those cards, there is probably one important thing we are missing the value of our bulk. Hi everyone and welcome back to Pokemon. Today I'm showing you the top 30 bulk cards from Scarlet and Violet 151 and I'm also gonna search through my own cards to see if I got some of those. Spoiler alert, I have and I will show you that you can turn this into this without spending a dollar. But before we do, if you wanna win the Golden Mew from Celebrations, you just gotta leave a like, subscribe and tell me in the comments how many packs of 151 you already opened chasing the big Charizard. Let's roll the intro. So what am I talking about in this video? First of all, you order some 151 products to open trying to catch the big fish. What are you looking for? We have the Zart at $105, the Blastoise at $45 and the Venusaur at $38. Actually the top 10 chase cards from Scarlet and Violet 151 are holding their value pretty well since the release of this set. And there are three main reasons for this. Number 1. Generation 1 Pokemon are just iconic. Number 2. The artwork from those cards is pretty amazing. And number 3. The poll rates from English 151 are very very disappointing. So you opened up a bunch of packs, you pulled absolutely zero, frustration hits and you're throwing all that bulk into a box or through the window. Because let's be real, modern bulk cards, they don't make us excited. But 151 is a different story. There are actually a couple of bulk cards that are pretty hard to pull and since this is one of the most iconic sets in recent years, collectors now, but also in the future, will try to master this 151 set. So before you throw away all of your bulk or you trade it for a Rebel Clash booster pack, let's find out about the 30 most expensive bulk cards from 151. Let's go. So these 30 cards are all reverse holofoils and are ranging between 70 cents and 2.5 dollars. 70 cents is probably the value of the highest common bullet cards out of every other Scarlet and Violet set, but in this case it may be interesting to take your 151 bulk with you, follow along and see what's worth it in today's market so you can sell them, buy missing singles and complete your 151 set. First up we got numbers 30 till 21 on our list, we have a Cycling Road, a Hitman Lee, Leftovers and Rigid Band, all ranging between 69 and 73 cents, then we have a Sparrow and Kabuto at 80 cents and then we have a Giovanni's Charisma at 83 cents, Magmar 84 cents, Tauros at 88 cents and an Ammonite at 96 cents. I checked my bulk cards, I have one Cycling Road, I have three Hitman Lees, one left over, three Kabutos and a Giovanni's Charisma. So actually a pretty good start making already some dollars. Next up we got numbers 20 till 11 with a range between 96 cents and 1.25 dollars. We have the Erika's Invitation, the Energy Sticker, the Executor, the Pinsir, the Poliwhirl, Hypno, Lepras, Onyx, Pijotto and Hitman Chen. So in my bulk I found an Erika's Invitation, an Energy Sticker, two Poliwhirls, one Hypno, two cards from Lepras and then one Pichotto. And then of course the 10 most expensive bulk cards from 151, ranging between $1.25 and $2.5. We have the Seeking, the Kakuna, the Kingler, the Metapod at $1.45, the Weeping Bell, the Dragonair, the Nidoran female version, Snorlax, and then two cards above that $2 mark, we have the Nidoran Reverse Holofoil and the Scyther Reverse Holofoil. I found two Sea Kings, three Kakunas, one Kingler, one Dragonair and four Nidorans in my personal own collection. So if I would sell all of these cards at market price today, that would make me a grand total of $34.26. And this is only the value of 30 bulk cards. Now if you can choose between 30 cards sitting in your closet or picking up a beautiful Psyduck, Machoke, Switch, Ammonite, Bills Transfer, Tangela and Mr. Mime for the same amount of money. And don't forget for these 7 cards you will need to open up a bunch of 151 packs because the pull rates are terrible. And there you have just a simple tip for your 151 bulk. Check out your cards, maybe you find some hidden gems, you can sell them and pick up the cards you actually need. Now if you like this video and you want to win the Golden Mew from Celebrations, you just gotta leave a like, subscribe and tell me in the comments honestly how many packs you already opened to chase the big Cherizard. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.